One of the biggest changes that the conquest ushers in is an architectural revolution. In the first place, you've got castles. Now, despite what anybody tells you, before 1066, there were no castles in England. And yet, within a generation of the Norman Conquest, we have nearly a thousand castles dotted all over England and Wales. Now, in the vast majority of cases, these early Norman castles are made of earth and timber, the famous Mottam Baileys uh, that we all learn about at school. But in a handful of early castles, we find great stone towers like this one here at Rochester in Kent. Rochester is the tallest tower of its type in Western Europe. So imagine this being dumped on your doorstep if you're an Anglo-Saxon peasant. The Normans were really advertising the fact that they were a new power in the land with buildings like this. To really appreciate the massive architectural revolution ushered in by the conquest, however, you've got to look at churches. Because in 11th century England, there are 15 bishoprics, i.e. 15 cathedrals. In every single instance, they are ripped down and replaced within a generation or two of the conquest. By the time of William the Conqueror's death in 1087, nine of the 15 have been torn down and rebuilt. By the time of his son's death, Henry I, in 1135, all of them have been done. So it is a revolution without parallel in the history of English ecclesiastical architecture.